hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Anate and I am a Ugandan I am here in Uganda and I am currently at a Uganda Christian University where I work as a lecturer so um, some people you know as asked me in my inbox oh Annette how did you get your job how did you become a lecturer and I'm here to tell you that so I came to Uganda um, in October yeah October 2021 20, and I remember I mean I was somehow stuck because I didn't really know how the system works in Uganda I had done some research but you know I was getting you know scaring information from uh, various people of course it wasn't scaring it's the truth they told me in Uganda to get a job in Uganda to get a job yeah and and that's true there are so many people who graduate you know um, and they fail to get what to do here in Uganda and maybe in other developing countries you never know I only know about Uganda so um, I was kind of scared and I was like okay that's okay let me see how things will be so uh, when I came I was like okay let me just contact one of my mentors so I contacted uh, one of my mentors called uh, Dr. Alex Cotino he was the um, the head of the infectious disease institute there um, in Imulago, Kampala Uganda and um, He's one of my mentors. I got him through Ashinaga. So um, after talking to him, he was like, oh, Annette, okay, just, you know, contact me when you arrive in Uganda. Then I came to Uganda. So I told him, you know what? I, I would love to teach. And I would love to mainly teach academic writing. So um, what he did was to contact, you know, uh, his friend who is the director of Mengo Hospital, that is Dr. Luaga. And then Dr. Luaga contacted the dean of uh, uh, Uganda Christian University uh, School of Medicine, that is Kampala Campus. Yeah, I had read about, you know, the university and everything there. So um, I finally met the dean, uh, Dr. Gerard Tumusime, and sent my documents him that was around November yeah around November but the universities were closed so I had to wait for universities to open in January for me to start working so Dr. Gerard asked me what I can do and I, wh I what I want to teach and then I talked about you know um, academic writing and then he was like okay for us we need this and this and then I started preparing the material for the courses he asked me and oh, for the courses he told me and yeah I just had to wait you know and just be hopeful and positive that yes something will happen and yes finally I got uh, this lecturing job because I, I've always wanted to teach you know I've always wanted to teach so alongside other things I do you know I just became so happy that you know I can finally you know go to class and teach you know uh, the students here at um, this university Uganda Christian University uh, Kampala campus I teach uh, medical students and I love it it's so interesting you know my students are so happy you know uh, they cooperate they are so kind and they ask me really important questions they ask me interesting questions and I'm like ah oh, I didn't think about that and they bring you know they bring ideas you know I love I love it yeah I love it yeah I love it yeah I love it and I can't wait to see you know all of them you know passing all my exams I'll be so happy yeah yeah so uh, that's how I got the job the main point in this is that um, in developing countries like Uganda even in developed countries you need people you need connections you know you need connections try to you know um, to be you know on various platforms where you can have a chance to meet various people yeah let people know you you know be on LinkedIn you know uh, yeah so um, yeah it's really important yeah to know people it's all about people because I mean how would I know that you know uh, uh, you see you uh, even has you know uh, a medical school here 
I knew that through, you know, through Dr. Cotino Alex, you know. And then after, I read about it and I was like, oh wow, this school has been here, so, I mean, yeah, yeah, years ago. You understand? So it's all about people. So if I didn't have Dr. Cotino Alex, I don't think that I would have gotten this job, you know. Well, we don't know how things occur, I mean, we don't know God's ways. So, um, I don't know how I would get this job, you know. But I think, you know, it would be hard or impossible to get the job. Here in Uganda, I mean, your qualifications might not matter. To be honest, they don't matter, to be honest. What matters here is who you know. That's what I've learned. And everybody told me, everybody warned me about this. It's who you know. So uh, I'm happy that I had somebody I knew and then, you know, my qualifications. So it was a combination of my qualifications and then somebody who I knew. Of course, this is a private university. It's not a government university. It's a private university. So I, I, I mean, I'm sure they only take, you know, people who are capable of teaching their students. Yeah. So in a brief, that's how I got my job. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. We are looking for 400 people. We want to make 1,000 subscribers and we celebrate. Thank you so much for your support. I love you so much. Bye. And great thanks to everybody who helped me in this. Dr. Cotino Alex, um, Shinaga, uh, Shinaga initially, then Dr. Cotino Alex, then Dr. Lukwago, the director of um mango hospital and then uh the dean and then the staff members you know at ucu who were involved in you know in the recruitment process and even my students i love my students so much so i thank them for you know uh for attending my classes and you know just you know bringing ideas you know without being shy and you know just being free in my class i love that thank you bye